Hi everybody, my name is Maeve and I am delighted to welcome you to today's workout. Today we are concentrating on our upper body muscles and on our core muscles. So um, it's really important that we maintain good upper body strength for everyday living and especially if you are working at a desk, I'm going to do exercises here that are going to lengthen our chest muscles, strengthen our back muscles and improve our overall posture. Uh, so for today, just make sure you have a window open in your room that you're going to work out in for some nice fresh air. Um, you're going to need a bottle of water, have a towel, your mat, and again, for equipment, we're going, I'm going to be using light dumbbells. So if you have a set of light dumbbells at home, that would be great. If not, we can improvise. We can use two bottles of water or two um, tins of food will do absolutely fine as well. And again, the main thing is that you're gonna to work to your own ability. So if something doesn't feel right, just stop. Or if you feel uh, there's too many reps on an exercise, you can just take a rest whenever you need to take a rest. And most importantly is that you enjoy the workout with me. So let's make a start. We're gonna warm up by just mobilizing our upper body. So we're gonna go down to our mat, okay? So we're going to kneel down. And down we go. Hands are under our shoulders, okay? Knees are under our hips. I want you to engage your core now so our backs are nice and flat. Now gently just push your head forward so our necks are nice and long. We're going to go into a cat to cow stretch. We're going to take a deep breath in. As we breathe out, tuck our chin to our chest, stretch up. So just waking up those back muscles that we're going to be working. Take a deep breath in, bring your belly to the floor, roll your shoulders back, bring your head forward. Lovely, deep breath in. Breathing out, tuck your tailbone under, chin to your chest, pressing those hands into the mat. Deep breath in, and now exhale, bring your belly to the floor, roll your shoulders back, bringing your head forward. Last one here, breathing out, tuck your chin to chest, press up, lengthen through that spine. Deep breath in, belly to the floor, roll your shoulders back, bringing your head forward. Fantastic, excellent. We're gonna come up now to kneeling. Okay, let's take our left leg out in front of us. Take our right hand, bring it down opposite our left leg. Bring your left arm and it's going inside that left leg. So just bringing your elbow down close to the floor. It won't go all the way down. We're gonna rotate now to the left. So you're going to breathe out, bringing your chest towards your knee, reaching your hand up, look up towards your fingers now. Inhale down, taking that stretch. So we're really mobilizing and working into our shoulders, into our chest, into those back muscles, warming everything up. Let's do two more. Let those eyes follow your hand all the way up. One, last one, all the way up, two, and coming back down. Fantastic. Take that left leg back, back up to kneeling. Okay, let's take our right leg, bringing it out in front of us. Take your left hand now. Place it down opposite that right leg. Elbow inside and rotating around, letting your eyes follow your fingers all the way up. That's one. We inhale down, rotate. Two, that's it. Breathing out, three. Our last one now, all the way down and all the way around. Let those eyes follow the fingers, reach your fingers to the ceiling and coming back down. Fantastic. We're staying in this kneeling position. Hands under shoulders. So, we're going to do what's called a knitting needle. Now engage your core. I'm gonna sew my right arm through, under here. It's going to go down towards the floor. Bring your head, neck and shoulders down. Don't be afraid to go down. We're gonna come out, and we're gonna just rotate up. Let those eyes follow your fingers. And down, and then all the way up again. Rotating around, scooping through. Last one, all the way down. And around, and back down. We're gonna work the other side. Taking your left arm, you're just knitting it onto your arm. Bring your head and shoulders all the way to the floor. And as we come up, let your eyes follow your hand and rotate. That's it, well done. Just warming up those upper body muscles. All the way around. Last one now, sewing it all the way down. Don't be afraid to go all the way to the floor. If you can't, that's no problem. Just work to your own ability, all the way up, and back down to center. Well done. Okay, so we're gonna stay on the mat, and we're gonna take our dumbbells, okay? Your dumbbells, your bottles of water, your tins of food, whatever you have. 
Let's place the weights down, okay? We're in that kneeling position again. Our knees are under our hips, my hands are under my shoulders. And we're going to do a dumbbell row. So we have two exercises that we're gonna go in between here. The first one, okay, I want you to pull your, uh, bring your shoulder blades down your back, reach your head forward. We're going to row up, and then we're going to row this way. So my elbow is staying close by my side, I'm squeezing my shoulder blade up. We're going to do 10 reps on each side. Okay, we'll do, actually do all that first, and then we'll go down to our chest one. So, getting ready. Okay, eyes looking to the floor. We'll go in three, two, one, off we go. <sighs> Rowing up, one and two, well done, three, four, keep that core nice and tight, five, keep your eyes looking down, six, seven, so we're working into the front of our upper arms and into our back muscles, 10, well done, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20, rest down, just take a little stretch back, well done, coming back up and getting ready for round two. So hands under our shoulders, knees under our hips, just push your head forward so our shoulders lengthen down our back. Engage that core now. We don't want to dip in our back. We want to feel nice and strong in our core. We'll start in three, two, one. Take your left arm up and bringing it back down. Other side. So just imagine you're rowing. Well done. Four. Keep the eyes looking down. Five, six, seven. Well done. Elbows are tight. Eight, nine. 10, last 10, seven, well done, six, five, four, three, two, last one up, one, sitting down, taking that nice stretch, fantastic. So let's place the weights to either side of your mat. And now we're going to turn over onto our backs. We're going to work into our chest muscles, our opposite muscles. Okay, so bring your heels in close to your bum, lying down. You're going to take one weight into one hand and the other weight into the other hand. Okay, I want you to bring your elbows back. And when you look to the side, you want your forearm to be straight and you want to see a nice right angle at your elbow joint. So try not to have the weights down here. Try to have them up and your elbows pinned back. Well done, we're gonna look up to the ceiling. Our core is nice and tight. I'll just demonstrate the first one. I'm gonna breathe out, bring my weights together. So I'm kissing them together and then I'm inhaling down, bringing the weight down. Okay, we will go in three, two, one, off we go. Breathing out, two weights up. We inhale down. Well done. Four, that's it. Five, extend the arms, lock out the elbows. Seven, eight, nine. Last one, control up and coming down and just taking a little rest before we go and shake out your hands and we'll do one more round. So taking the weights, bringing your elbows back. Okay, right angle at each side of the elbow joint. Breathing out, extend the arms together, kiss your weights together and we inhale down. And two, that's it, your eyes are looking to the ceiling. Three, four, well done, five, six, Seven, brilliant, we have three more. One, two, and last one, three, and resting down. Placing your weights down, excellent, over onto your knees, and we're coming up now to a seated position, or standing position first, and we'll also need our chair for this part, okay. So we're now gonna work into our arms, okay? The front of our arms, our biceps, the backs of our arms into our triceps. 
Number one is be very careful again, lifting through the legs as you pick up your weights. So we're taking our feet a little kind of shoulder distance apart. The first thing I'm going to do is soften my knees. That creates a stable base. I'll just turn to the side for a second and I'm gonna tuck my tailbone under. That also creates a nice stable base. So good posture. Okay, softening the knees. Our arms are going to go to the front. Roll your shoulders back. Have your elbows tucked nice and tight. So we're not out here. We're tucked nice and tight. Knees soft, shoulders back. I'll just demonstrate the first one. We're breathing out, we're curling the weights up and we inhale down. So I want you to think about your core in this one as well. As you're bringing the weights up, we tighten the core and then we relax it. That too helps support our back by working through our core. Okay, we will go in three, two, one. Breathing out, curl the weights up, we inhale down. Two, well done. Three, that's it. Four, so we want to avoid any rocking. The only muscle that's moving are our arms here. Six, seven, eight, that's it. Nine, one more, 10. And just take a little rest, roll the shoulders back, and we have one more round of those to do. Okay, legs and shoulder width apart. Soften your knees, tuck that tailbone under. Bring your arms to the front, our elbows are tucked nice and tight. Roll your shoulders back. Engage your core as you lift up and then relax it as you go down. Now we've two, well done. Three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, 10, and resting down. Fantastic, so you can just leave your weight to the side for a second, and now I want you to bring over your chair. So we're gonna work the opposite muscle now. We're gonna work the backs of the arms, our triceps. So we're gonna take a seat, and we're just gonna take one weight up. So taking one weight up, we're gonna sit nice and tall now. Our shoulders are back, knees are in line with our hips, our core is engaged. So I'll demonstrate the first one. We're breathing out, we're sending the arms up in the air. So my elbows are kind of in tight and my arms are in tight towards my head. I'm bending the weight back and then I'm just pressing it up. Okay, back down and up. It's just like a little hinge at our elbow joint. Okay, let's take our arms up overhead, holding our weight securely, arms by your side. Inhale down, bending at the elbow joint, exhale up. That's one. Think of your core. Two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and just rest down, taking those arms rest. Well done. So just remember that core, okay? Tighten it up as we're going up when we're breathing out. Okay, let's go again. Breathing out, send the arms up. Okay, prepare, we inhale down, keep the elbows nice and tight, we exhale up, one. Breathe out, two, and three, four, five, well done. Six, seven, eight, nine, very last one down, breathe out all the way up and lower the weight down, leaving it to the side and bringing your other weight over. Fantastic. If you need to take a drink at any stage, just take a drink, take a rest. We're now going to work into our shoulders, okay? Very important to keep these nice and strong. So our first exercise, we're going to use our two weights and we're going to do it seated and then we're going to come up for um, a standing exercise. So. I'm gonna bring the weights up, and when I look here, we, again, we have that right angle at our elbow joint. This is our shoulder press. We're gonna have, we're gonna start in this position with our elbows down. We're gonna breathe out, bring the weights all the way up, kissing them together, and then we inhale down. So it's slow and controlled. Again, watch your forearms. Try to have your wrist in line with your elbows and those pinned back. And very important, we tighten our core as we lift up. Okay, so let us prepare and get ready to lift. Three, two, 
one, breathe out all the way up and inhale down. That's two. Now this is a challenging exercise. Three, if you needed to leave out the weights, you can. Four, well done. Five, trying to get those arms fully extended as you go up. Six, seven, that's it. Tighten the core as you go up. Eight, nine, last one, and 10. And take a nice rest. Just leave the weights at your side. Give your shoulders a little roll back. Brilliant. And we have one more of those to do. Okay, taking our weights to the side. Just check there at your elbow joint. Is there a nice right angle? Wrists are nice and strong. Take a deep breath in, breathing out all the way up. We inhale down. Breathe out two. Inhale down. That's it. Three. Well done. Four. You feel this right through the shoulders. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And last one. Breathing out. Ten. And all the way down. Well done. Some nice work into our shoulders. So just leave the weights to the side. And I want you to come up, take your chair, and just place it to the side as well. And we're going to still work into our shoulders now. We're going to work into the side of our shoulders here. Okay, so this is standing exercises. Bend your knees, picking up your weights. Again, our feet our shoulder distance apart, our knees are soft, and we're doing that tucking our tailbone. Nice, stable base. The weights are going to go to the front of us. I have a slight bend in my elbow, okay? We're gonna breathe out, take the arms up, and then we're gonna inhale down, okay? So that's the exercise. Again, if you find this challenging, just leave out the weight, and you'll slowly get stronger and be able to add in the weight. Roll our shoulders back. We'll go in three, two, one, breathing out, inhale down. That's two. Well done, slow and controlled. Three, doesn't have to be fast. Four, think about the muscle we're working. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's eight. Last one, 10, and rest down. Just bend your knees. Place the weights down, roll your shoulders back, shake out the arms. We have one more to do. Well done, take a drink if you need to take a drink. Okay, soften our knees, going down, lifting up our weights again. Weights are just slightly to the front and with a slight bend in the elbow. Soften the knees, tuck your tailbone under, roll the shoulders back. Breathe out, up, inhale down. And two, brilliant. And three, that's it. Feel strong through those shoulders. Four, five, six, seven, that's it. Tighten up that core as you go up. Eight, nine, last one, ten, and lowering down. Fantastic work, well done. So let's just place the weights to the side. We're done with our weights now. We're now going to go down to the floor and we're going to do a little core work to straighten our core muscles, but it's also still going to work into that upper body as well. Okay, so we have three exercises that we're going to do and we're going to hold each exercise for about 30 seconds each. Okay, so number one is our hands are under our shoulders and our knees are under hips. Now, if you're used to doing a plank, you may come up on your toes, but we're really concentrating on this as a beginner's exercise, so we're going to stay on our knees. Okay. So hands are under our shoulders, knees are under my hips, and my core is engaged. The first one I'm going to do is I'm going to take my right hand, tap my left shoulder, bring it down, and alternate. So I'm just tapping from shoulder to shoulder. I'm trying not to droop through my back, so it's really important that that core stays nice and tight, our back stays nice and straight. So we're just tapping from side to side, okay? We're then going to go over onto our side. We're going to be working both sides. Knees are together and we're going to just press up into a side plank. Very important here is our elbows are under our shoulder. We bring our head back and we're going to bring our arm up. And we're going to try and hold that for 30 seconds. If at any stage it gets too much, you just rest down and then you come up again, pushing the hips forward. 
really important elbow on the shoulder. So we're going to go through those 30 seconds each and taking your break then. Okay, we will go in three, two, one, off we go. Let's tap and tap. Keep that core on nice and tight. Lengthen your head away. You're just tapping each side. Making sure that you place that hand under your shoulder as you're tapping. That's it, well done. Breathe. We have 10 seconds. Two and one and rest. Fantastic, let's go over onto our right side. Elbow now is under our shoulder. Tuck your knees up together. Okay, pressing up through the hip now, making sure that elbow stays under. And let's just bring your arm up or you can leave it on your side. I like to lengthen through. We're aiming to create space between the floor here and our waist and hold there. Push the hips forward. If at any stage you need to come down, just come down and hold. Working right into those oblique muscles there, getting strong, strong to our shoulders. That's it, breathe in and breathe out. Hold, well done. We have another 10 seconds. That's it. Three, two, one, and rest down. Excellent, over onto the other side. Okay, elbows under our shoulder, knees under our hip, or knees together. Pressing up now through the elbow, lifting up through the knees. Bring that arm up in the air, push your hips forward. So squeeze your bum, squeeze your thighs, and hold. Well done, bring your head back slightly. That's it. Take a break whenever you need to. Hold here, creating that space between your waist and the mat. Breathe in and out. Excellent strength work here. Well done, everybody. Breathe. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We rest. Brilliant. Okay, we're back to the start. We have that to do one more time. Okay, hands under our shoulders, knees under our hips. Lengthen your head away, we're into our shoulder taps. Remember, engage that core, nice flat back. And off we go, tapping hand to shoulder, opposite hand to opposite shoulder. Well done. Lengthen through your neck now, nice and long. And breathe. That's it. We're nearly there. Last 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Well done. Over onto our side. Elbow goes under our shoulder, working back into our obliques, our side muscles and our tummy. Knees are together. Okay, breathing out, pressing all the way up, press through the knees, press up through the elbow, raise that hand up. Squeeze your thigh muscles, they help keep you up, squeeze your bum. Create that nice space. Bring your head back slightly, hold here. Breathe in and out, that's it. Well done. Hold, hold. That's it, you'll feel the strength through your sides now, that's it. Keep holding, keep holding. We've 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We rest down. We have our last one on the other side. Before we go into our cool down, you're all doing so well. Elbow under your shoulder, knees together. Pressing up now through your elbow, up onto your knees. Bring your hand up. Lengthen through your side. Keep that distance between your side and the mat. Squeeze your bum. Push your hips forward, lengthen your hand up, bring your head back slightly, breathing in and out. Well done. Staying as solid as you can now, that's it, that's it. Breathe, hold. Well done everybody, we are nearly there. Last 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we rest down. Well done. Over onto our knees now, and we're gonna go into our child's pose stretch. Take your feet together, take your knees nice and wide apart, and down we go, walking those fingers forward. Feel that nice stretch into your back. Breathing in and out. Well done. Walk there. Now, taking your hands nice and wide apart, I want you to take your right hand and place it onto your left hand and feel that stretch going down the side of your back. Lovely. Now move your right hand back. Take your left hand, place it over onto your right hand and you'll feel the stretch on the opposite side. Well done. Super. Excellent. We're going to come over now and we're going to sit sitting down and we're going to take a little stretch of our arms and our shoulders. We're going to cross our legs if it's comfortable for you. You can always do these seated on a chair as well and or else just prop a cushion underneath you. Dropping our shoulders down now, take your arm and your opposite hand is going to gently push there so you feel that stretch to the shoulder. Well done. With all of these exercises, as you get stronger, you know, we can increase the reps, we can increase the sets, we can also, um, the one thing people would do is add a heavier weight. So that's how we progress all of these exercises. Well done. And change sides. Bring in the arms so you'll know yourself, you'll get stronger every week when you're consistent with these programs. That's it, gently pulling it, keeping the shoulder down. <sighs> Breathing and relax down. Now taking your fingers, reach over towards me, pulling those shoulder blades apart. That's it, stretch through those back muscles. So these muscles get tight sitting at a desk and typing, so it's important we strengthen them and lengthen them. And then we turn our hands around and we work the opposite muscles. So these muscles in our chest get tight from seated positions, so it's important we lengthen these muscles. That's it, pulling the shoulders back. This is a lovely stretch to do at your desk, just bringing your hands behind your back. Breathe in and out. Let's go one more time, reach towards me now, pulling those shoulder blades apart. You did fantastic work on that upper body today. Round you go with the arms, taking your hands back, roll your shoulders back, feel that lovely stretch through your chest, and relax down. Well done, let's just come up to a standing position. We finished standing tall, well done. And let's reach our hands up towards the ceiling. Take our feet a little bit wider apart. Place one hand down and reach over. That's it. And then reach the other arm over. And the other side over. And again on the other side, reaching. And back to centre. Take your two legs back in together. Now roll your shoulders back for one, for two, for three, and forward again for one for two, for three, and then back again, for one, two, and three, and well done on an excellent upper body workout and core workout. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again the next day. Thank you so much.